January is finally here, and if you ladies are anything like us, then you are definitely taking a look at your budget. So you might have done a little bit of overspending during the holidays, but don't worry, we are going to give you six great tips to help you to stop wasting money on your clothes. So these are easy, they're practical, and they will definitely be helpful. And they do not involve stopping all shopping because we would never recommend something like that. That would just be awful. But yes, if you are new here, I'm Kelly. This is my best friend, Christina. We love all things fashion. So if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you click that button so that you don't miss out on anything new. Our first tip for not wasting money on clothes is to not wait until the last minute to buy something that you need for a special occasion. So a great example of this is you may have a beach vacation coming up and you know you're gonna need that bathing suit. If you wait until the last minute to purchase a bathing suit, you may find that one, might not get the best deal that you would if you had given yourself a little bit more time. You also may find that you pick up a bathing suit that you're not particularly in love with, but you're in a time crunch and you just have to have something for this vacation. Could also be a bathing suit that maybe doesn't exactly fit properly, but just not giving yourself enough time, you really don't have the time to be able to comparison shop. So by ensuring that you give yourself plenty of time, you'll make sure that you are picking up items that you love and that when the next occasion comes where you're able to wear that particular piece that you will love it and get plenty of use out of it. So another way that is easy to waste money when shopping is not knowing a store's return policy. This is definitely one that I have been guilty of, especially with all of the shopping and ordering that we do for our channel. It is so critical to know exactly what the policy is for that particular store. So things like how long you have to return an item are really important to know. Some stores are very generous with the amount of time that they give you. Other stores give you a very small window to return an item and you really need to be on top of that. Another thing that you need to know is what types of items you have to put back in the box. Do you need to print something online? Does it just need to have the tags attached to it? So just really being familiar with what their policy is is also really important. Some stores will also charge you a fee for shipping something back So versus taking it into the store in person. So you wanna be aware of that. You might be wasting money shipping an item back and paying six to $10 just to return something versus going into the store and returning it for free. So definitely an important one to keep in mind and also paying attention to third-party vendors. There are definitely some stores who use these third-party vendors where they're also selling items from that vendor. However, they are then using their return policy for those specific items and you cannot return them all together. So lots of things that you really want to know and you'll find out just by being careful and reading that fine print. Whether you're shopping online or in store, make sure you're familiar with these policies. It's going to save you a lot of money. Impulse shopping is another way you are wasting money on clothes and this can happen in two ways. The first one being if there is a new trend that has come out and maybe you are looking to buy something within that trend. If you just show a little bit of patience, you can definitely find that same exact item at a store maybe for a more budget friendly price. So this is definitely something that's happened before where maybe I have found a chain link jewelry I absolutely had to have it it was a new trend coming out and then two three weeks later I found a very similar chain link bracelet at another store and had I just exerted some patience I wouldn't have wasted that money the second way that you can also waste money is by seeing the deal of a lifetime I was really guilty of this so I would often fall in love with the price and maybe not actually fall in love with the item. So by just seeing things on clearance, I would for sure feel like, oh, this is a great piece. I absolutely have to have it. And then go home and find out, mm, I really actually have another item that's very similar to this, or I really don't like it as much as I thought that I did. I just fell in love with the price. So ladies, impulse shopping is a big no-no if you want to save money on clothes. So another easy way to waste money on clothing is by investing too much money in tops. 
So we love our tops and some tops are worth spending a little bit extra, maybe something very cozy and comfy like my Rails plaid that I'm going to wear year after year. However, when it comes to those more trendy style of tops, maybe something that is, you know, really hot for the season or maybe a particular pattern, a bold floral or something that is just really on style, a must have item for the season, you don't want to spend too much money on that top because really it is just not going to be versatile enough for you to get a lot of wear out of it and it's always going to be obvious that you're wearing the same blouse. So you really want to save the investment pieces for things that you're going to get more wear out of. Also you really want to think about your lifestyle. If you're buying a particular top maybe for an event, a party, a wedding, a baby shower, don't invest too much in that item knowing that it's not something that you're going to use in your daily lifestyle. So investing too much money on very trendy types of tops is one way we can easily waste money on clothing. Another way that you can be wasting money is by buying duplicates. And the main way that you can avoid this mistake is by taking inventory of your closets and of your drawers. I'm sure we can all relate to this when we have gone to the grocery store, come back with a bottle of ketchup just to find that there are already three waiting for us in the pantry. So by having your closets organized and your drawers organized, this can really help you to quickly take a look and see what items you have, maybe which ones need to be replaced. So that way you don't have duplicates of very similar items. We actually did a video all about closet organization. So if you're looking for some more tips on that, we will link that down below for you. But by doing this very simple trick, you really will help yourself to save a lot of time and money. So one of the ways we can easily waste money on clothing is by not reading the tags and finding out the proper care of the garment when it comes to washing something, drying it, laundering it. You really want to be careful with that. I have definitely ruined some beautiful clothing items by not being careful with this. I actually also have destroyed some of my girl's uniforms, did not realize that the pants could only be washed in cold and needed to be hang dried, and ruined the pants, made them shrink up, they weren't able to be worn anymore and had to invest more money in more uniform pants and if you've ever had to buy uniforms for kids you know that that is not cheap so this is really important when you don't launder something properly you really can get into shrinking as well as wearing down the fabric you can get into lots of fading or pulling of an item especially delicate items like beautiful sweaters and different types of fabric silk blouses so it's always important to to know when you purchase something, what is the care of that item before laundering it. And that way you're not having to go out there and repurchase it or having your heart broken because your beloved piece of clothing has now been destroyed. Okay, ladies, so that is it. Hopefully these tips are helpful for you and we will see you guys next time.